Welcome to my Excel Power Tips channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sort your pre-1900 and 20th and 21st century Excel dates that you might have in your data set. And I'm going to include the method link in the description and there's no VBA in this method. So I have a list of dates in column A, the dates of birth, and they're a mixture of 19th and 20th and 21st century dates. And it looks as if Excel recognizes them and I've center aligned them. Now I've copied column A and pasted it in column C. If I highlight column C and then from the Excel menu, home, take off the central alignment, what happens? Well, for the dates that Excel does recognize, it's right aligned those. And they're the 20th and 21st century dates. And for the dates that it doesn't recognize, they're the 19th century dates. And they're left aligned and they're treated as text. So the very first date that Excel recognizes starts from 1st of January 1900. And let's see what value uh, Excel assigns to that date by using the value formula. We gain a value uh, of 1 uh, for the date 1st of January 1900. Now let's look at the value for the day immediately before 1900, which is 31st of December 1899. Copy the formula down. It returns The value function returns an error value because it doesn't recognize that date because it's a, a 19th century date and um, it's treated as text. So in order for you to be able to sort your 19th century dates, your 20th and 21st century dates, you need to create a 19th century date sort value vehicle table. So I've got um, two columns, column A has got date and column B sort value. Um, you create this first by putting in cell A2 and uh, the first date Excel recognizes which is 1st of January 1900. Then in cell A3, we put 31st of December 1999. And in cell A4, 30th of December 1999. Excel recognizes there's a, a pattern between these two dates and that the days are going down. And then we copy, uh, we highlight those two cells and copy all the way down to the first day you want your uh, lookup table to start from. So in my case, I did it to 1st of January 1995. So these are 20th century dates, um, 30 December 1999, all the way down to 1st of January 1995. So what we need to do is we need to highlight those 1999 dates at the bottom. And then you do control F, and then you replace the forward slash 19 with forward slash 18. You replace all. So, what Excel has done now is it's converted those 20th century dates into 19th century dates, and they're all left aligned and it's no longer recognized as a date and it's uh, treated as text. And the other thing, the next thing I did was um, the sort value. I posted during 1900 was 1, and I put for the day before, at 30th of December 1899, put 0, and then minus 1, and then again I copied all the way down to the last data row, uh, to, um, in this case, uh, 1st of January 1995. So that completes the uh, creation of the 19th century date sort value VLOOKUP table, which you will be using um, to get the sort value for your 19th century dates. So now that we've created the 19th century sort value lookup table, we can use that lookup table uh, to sort dates between 19th century, 2021st century, and we can also use it to uh, calculate the day's difference. I'm using the same column of date of birth, and I replicated it in column C. And as you can see, there's a mixture between uh, 20th century dates and 19th century dates. We create a new column, sort value, in column D. And we use a formula in the green box below. Just tap that in the formula bar. And let's show you how this works. So the first part of the formula checks to see uh, the date in cell C2 if it's text. Now with the case of 19th century dates, that is going to be true. So uh, what it does then, it does the VLOOK of that date against the sort value lookup table for 1900 dates that we created earlier, and then returns the, the second column, the value. 
for an exact match. And if the is text uh, function value, if it's false, uh, in the case of genuine dates, it returns the value. And we know, um, as we saw earlier, uh, the value function does work for um, 20th and 21st century dates. So let's copy the formula down. And for this box, we'll just sort the value. We're going to data and sort. And we're going to be sorting by sort value, smallest to largest. So as you can see, uh, the sort value has been sorted, uh, the column, from smallest to largest. So we've got the negative numbers first. If you look at the date of birth column, you see that all the 19th century dates are uh, sorted first. Uh, displayed first, and then that's followed by the latest entry dates. That's all in the correct order. So the sort value lookup table works for sorting dates. We can also use it to calculate the day's difference. So here we've got two dates. Um, we've got pre-1900 dates, 20th June 1895, and we've got a post-1900 dates, which is 20, 20th century dates, 20th June 1955. Uh, when you calculate the, the years difference, the years and days difference, um, for years, you should get 60. What we do first is uh, we'll calculate the, the days difference first. And we do that by using this formula. We know that the 20th century date is going to work with the value function. We get the value of that, uh, which will always be higher than the 19th century value. And then we do a VLOOKUP against the lookup table for the using the 19th century date. And we're going to be returning the sort value column value, and it's going to be an exact match. Just change that to format number. Or general okay so this is the days difference between uh, those two dates so now all we need to do is work out uh, convert the days difference into years so we just divide that number that days difference number by 365 and that gives you 60 so now we know that the the lookup table works uh, correctly sort dates 19th century to 20 21st century and also works correctly for days difference as well thanks for watching and i'll see you soon on the next video